Hi, my name is Daniela Nazario. Hi, my name is Ricardo Nazario, and we live in Middle Village, New York. I am an occupational therapist, and I work with children with disabilities. I'm an account manager at the world's largest logistics company. So I was born in Romania in 1974, and I came to the United States when I was seven years old. It was a big change. Back home, we actually lived under communism regime, and it was very difficult. There were periods of time we had no hot water. Electricity would be um, limited as well. It really shapes the person that you have become and who you want to be to come to this land of opportunity, uh, work really hard, go to school, and then just work together to really make a, a life for ourselves and for our children. <laughs> That's why we do it in the bowl. We really got a wonderful rescue on our hands today. What I just love about this family is that they, they're all about each other, about family, about living the American dream. I've only seen video of them, I just can't wait to meet them. I was at a party uh, when we first met and I was 21 years old. I noticed him from across the room because I noticed dimples all the way across. Then a few dances later, he was sort of behind me, <laughs> trying to shimmy his way in. <laughs> we married four years after, and we were able to save enough money to purchase a home. Tell Daddy, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit to everyone. <laughs> we live in this house with myself, my wife Daniela, Anthony, who is nine, and Andrew, who's five years old. Anthony's uh, fun, full of life, energetic. Who's next on you can, you can use a... Uh, you first. He's an old soul, I think, and stuck in a nine-year-old's uh, body. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew, who's five years old, is a rambunctious little boy, super high energy. I grabbed the egg! I put the sugar in! So Andrew has had asthma since he was four months old. Um, he's on medications in the morning and in the evening. Um, what really sets his asthma off is the change in weather. So if the weather is 20 degrees in the morning and then 55 in the afternoon, his lungs can't really adjust to that rapid temperature change. And that's when he has difficulty with the breathing, his wheezing will come in. We have lived in this house for approximately three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Our home um, has two livable floors, um, and the third floor is an attic, which is an unfinished space. This house had many challenges. We had to gut the kitchen, we had to gut the bathrooms. Because of Andrew's asthma, we had to minimize the amount of dust that collects in the space. And I think it will trigger your asthma. Let's just go downstairs to get a bite to eat. Okay. The house has got tons of potential, especially up in the attic. Unfinished attic, right now it's a dumping ground for all of their seasonal stuff. We can clean it up, we can make it safe for Andrew and for the whole family. I'm really looking forward to tackling this one. How do you know where all this stuff goes? Um, I have it organized in piles. One of the troubles with owning a home with an unfinished attic space is maintaining the heat Comfort. in the space. The coldness of the space translates to the rest of the house. And those are all his asthma triggers, the cold and the dust in combination together. I think George should come to our rescue because most importantly, give us space that's suitable for, for our son Andrew. It'll give us a space for the family. 
So the family currently is inside with my team. They're doing an interview. The family is under the impression that they are in the running for a rescue. They have no idea that we've actually decided to do a rescue for them. Is it go time? Go time. It would be a blessing. It would just be an absolute. Hey. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> How you doing? Oh my goodness. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker, where home begins. Basically, the gist of it is, you guys got that unfinished attic upstairs, and in a few weeks' time, it's gonna be the most wonderful, coolest play space, hangout space, family room, whatever you want it to be. You guys all right with that? Yes, we're fine with all that. Right. Thank you so much. Doc, oh, come on. The pleasure is all mine. I'm gonna pass out. No, oh, don't pass out. Thank come you. on. Thank you. Carlo. Thank you so much. Hug on George thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't let go. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Our surprise was a total success. Now, I gotta get my GC Sebastian, my designer Annabelle in here so we can really figure out what we're gonna do with the space. This is their attic. It's cold up here. Yeah, it is a bit chilly. Wow. A lot of stuff. What it's a mess. cluttered. And it's totally not efficient. I mean, you feel it's cold right now, it's cold outside. Oh, absolutely. In the summer, it's sweltering, it's not healthy. Their youngest son, Andrew, he's got asthma. This is definitely not helping him out. When I walked in the attic, I was like, wow, this place really needs a lot of help. There's a lot of clutter and a lot of things just laying around, so I think storage to organize is one thing that we're going to try to do. Definitely create a study area and a family room area so the whole family can hang out. This attic has gorgeous height, and I think we have to maximize it. And then maybe, right? maybe get yeah. some insulation. Yeah, insulate then... everything around the window to make it nice and tight. When I'm done with this space, Andrew will be able to go up to the attic and enjoy the space. He won't even think twice about his asthma. Hey, George. Look at this. It's all wide open. Now that it's all cleared out, what do you think? What's the game plan? I'm going to set up a laser uh, on the wall. And we're going to start drilling so we can run our uh, BX to the, to the outlet. So we're going to start with get all of our electric rough yes, in. Yes, all the rough in, yes. We're going to be putting in an HVAC, all these lights, and an entertainment system. We're going to be drawing a lot of juice. So i got to go downstairs and make sure that the box can handle it. Otherwise, we're going to have to put in a sub panel. Into the depths. No, oh, ah, ah, don't go in the closet. What happened? Flashlight, there it is. Mom? Uh, it's no, no, it's not mom. I know. I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, George. I know you were my mom. Turn it off. Uh -huh. On and off, and I'll tell you uh, which one it is. Do them all. All right. One. Yeah, like one, at, one, one, one at a time. That one. That's it. That's it. That's the one? Yeah, that's the one. Good news. We have just enough room in the electrical box to run the HVAC and all our power needs for the attic. Mission accomplished. I like those easy missions. Whoa. We got a lot of material here, Sebastian. Oh, wow. Hey, Adam, what's up, man? George Oliphant. How's it going? How are we doing? I can't Hi, thank you enough, really. Celtic Building yeah. Supply is coming to the rescue. No problem. We heard about the family, and we love doing good things for good people. That is a beautiful sight. So we got all of our stuff here from Celtic Building Supplies, but the question is, how do we get them from the sidewalk all the way upstairs. Well, we can't boom it upstairs. We can't. I mean, we got the power line in the way, the trees in the way. There's no way to boom that. It's Mission Impossible, right? We're going to have to carry it up. Yep. Oh, Strong no. Strong backs, my, my friends. Goodness. Strong backs. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. 
For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. have to put safety first. You Absolutely. never know yes. what's going to happen. We're dealing with saws. So I got our 3M safety kit. Beautiful. It really is the easy jobs that you're most likely to get hurt on. So I always make sure to have a 3M first aid kit on the job site. And see, I already had to use one of the band-aids. Probably the coolest thing about this entire attic is how high the ceilings are. But in order to keep that height, that is going to be a real pain in the neck. Perfect. I like that. Always better to go fat, go big, and then you can trim down. As my grandfather always said, you can't saw sawdust. It's already sawed. Right, so now is where the fun is going to start. Now, oh, now, now is when the fun's going to start. I was waiting, yeah, Sebastian. The delivery is outside. Hey, George. Oh, perfect timing, Look, it's arrived. Sebastian. Our dry cord subfloors have arrived. And this is the R+. Plus. Feel that little foam right there? This is great. What it does is a few things. Uh, first and foremost, you got these grooves right here for airflow. And it also insulates. They're going to love it. Whoa, look at that. Is that a bird? No, it's bees. Yeah, I don't like bees. You're always going to find something in the walls. We're putting in a Fujitsu split system that's going to take care of all the heating and air conditioning, which is a really good thing. These are the old air conditioning ducts, and you can see, you see these honeycombs? It's funny, Andrew actually told me that he was scared of finding tarantulas up here. Andrew, no tarantulas, but you did have bees. Not anymore. On every rescue, we come into a new community and ask the local businesses for support. Yuri from EcoRight stepped right up to the plate and provided us with closed cell spray foam for our attic, which is the perfect material to keep the space safe, warm, and dry for our family. The old flooring in this space was dark and heavy, and now we're replacing it with this light and airy, beautiful white oak PID flooring. And best of all, it's a family business helping out a deserving family. can't wait to be home. I just think that it's gonna make such a huge difference to Andrew's health and just enjoying a different part of the house that we never had access to. The old attic was scary, dark, damp. It was just like the worst place ever in the house. There's not gonna be any more sponges in the attic because George is gonna put bug spray up there and kill them. So it's no secret, we've been working really hard up in the attic to transform that space. And so I thought it was the perfect time to surprise them with a lunch courtesy of Chevy's Day It Forward campaign. All right, surprise! Oh, wow. Look at this guy! Uh, you guys are working so hard helping oh, us get this yeah. job done for the family. The least I could do and, and my team from Chevy could do is provide you guys with lunch. So uh, dig in. Yep. Don't thank me, thank Chevrolet, but really, we want to thank you for doing everything you're doing to help George to rescue and help this family. That's what Day It Forward is all about. Absolutely. Command products help you cleverly solve your organizing and decorating challenges without damage to your walls. Just peel and stick to apply and stretch to remove so you can decorate without doing harm. To find out about Command products from 3M or find a retailer near you, go to command.com. It's been a while since Annabelle has been in the space. A lot of change has happened. I cannot wait for her to see it. Nice job, Myself and Sebastian and, uh, you know, the team from Best & Company, we've been hard at work. The cathedral ceiling came out great. Uh, he kept it honest. He kept the ceiling height, and um, it's a great opportunity to bring down pendants and separate sections. So we're almost Fantastic. done with the construction side, and now it's time to get our design on. So uh, we need paint. I have, I have paint have colors. Paint. Come on. Sky's the limit. Yeah. This attic is so big, it's a good opportunity to use color. So um, we're going to take a, an ombre approach, and we're going to go from light to dark. Well, I think these colors look amazing. I'm going to get everything taped off. Okay. Do you have enough so, of them? I got like five more boxes of these. Annabelle has a wide spectrum of colors going into this space. But in order to pull off the super sharp paint lines I know she demands, we're going to need to use a lot of painter's tape. 
The best way to get the super sharp paint lines that are going to delineate the light from the dark is with 3M Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. And that way I get the edge lock technology where we get a super tight seal. All right, Attics, my favorite location for a rescue. Two? So, you got all, two boxes? Along with that mountain of boxes we have downstairs. Okay. We also got like 30 boxes of these floor flooring tiles. It's perfect, it's hypoallergenic and we can make any size we want. We also have the shade store, some window treatment, some nice flat Roman shades Beautiful. going in all the windows. I just left the UPS guy at the door. He just kept coming with boxes and I was just like, whoo. That is for some That's small. called, did you, are you, did you just deliver that by yourself? Did you just roll that thing out of the, out of the truck and up to the front door? It's pretty low. <laughs> is it, is it, is it, I measured, it's I fine. Thought, thought you it can do pieces. it. You good? Yep. Oops. Still breathing? You ready for this? We'll find a way. I may not have the weight of the world on my shoulders, but I certainly have the weight of this couch on my shoulders. Oh! <laughs> we did it! Good job! Wow, we did it! If you're gonna put it in an entertainment system, you gotta go big. We got the guys from Osby here. 55 inch flat screen, sound bar, Xbox, the fam is just gonna kick it back here, taking movies, video games. This is their place to relax. This one goes here. No, that one and this one switch. No, this one. Yep, that one's good. That's like no, there. No, that one right there. I mean, you might be oh, right. Oh, wow, look at that. No, no, it definitely goes like that. George! I mean, the real test is how does it, wow, Oof, it's nice. You got it from here, Sebastian? I have three words for you when I look at that light. Rich, brilliant, willing. That's right, RBW, man. RBW. It's perfect. Everything that's gonna be heating and cooling in this room will be in here, so. Right, the air will all circulate through that system, so any sort of dust or any sort of anything that's in the air right. is gonna get caught by this filter. What's the scoop here? What are we doing with this wall? I wanna hang some coats and some jackets. So these 3M command hooks, they are damage-free hanging, meaning that they're gonna hold strong, but if you wanna move them at some point, they remove clean. Even I am blown away by this transformation. Time for a reveal. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? You guys excited to see what we did? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, you, guys, you guys remember what it looked like before? Yes. yes. Why stand out here and talk about it? What do you say? You want to go inside and see it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, follow me. I have a funny feeling you guys are going to be using these stairs a lot more now. Yeah. Are you ready? Are yes. you set? Yes. Come on in. Welcome home. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Welcome home. Come on in. Oh my god! I can't. Oh! Oh, this is... oh my god! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm shaking. You guys have space to do full work. Closet space. They're all empty right now <sighs> because I know you got a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. my goodness. Did you notice the TV? Yeah. You didn't notice the TV? <laughs> I didn't the TV. You didn't even, yeah. That's how slick it is. Could this be my bedroom? Yeah. If it's not mine, I first. don't think you guys are ever going to leave. Well, like, no, ever. I have a football table after Oh, me. my goodness. Look. So, Andrew, you're not going to be scared up here anymore, are you? And it's going to be good for you, too, 
We're not, we really wanted to make sure that your asthma was never going to act up in here, so we, uh, we made sure that this was a very tight, efficient, clean space. What do you tell George? Thank you're thank welcome, you so buddy. Much. You're so welcome. <laughs> you okay? Hmm? No, it's okay. I love you. It just hit me. It just hit me right now. Thank you. How was it? Thank you. Thank you. We deeply and sincerely thank you all for your generosity, your time. We all know that you guys have families that you have to get home to and you spend countless hours working on a project for us to make this space a special place that we're gonna be able to enjoy to see these kids grow up as uh, beautiful young men. 